Hello, Dave. This is Dr. Gay. I want to say thank you again for coming to First Lake MRI. And now we're on to your elbow. So I'm going to start with a view here. We're looking in the short axis. This is high up in the arm, the distal arm. You see all these big arm muscles. And we're coming down, down, down. And there's something up here in the very front, this little black line. That's your biceps tendon. It's coming down, down, down. We're going to watch it attach on this little round bone here. This is the radius. So there's that black tendon down, 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 down. And then right there, before it attaches, it gets a little bulbous and it's a little bit gray. So you have mild tendinopathy. There's very mild tendinopathy of the biceps attachment. Not completely torn or yanked off and there's no fluid around it. It's just a biceps tendinosis or tendinopathy. And your other uh, muscles and tendons look good. Now on another view here, we can see your humerus up here. This is your radius. Over here is your ulna down below. And again, here's proximal. You see these gray things are all the muscles. The bright stuff around the edge, that's just normal subcutaneous fat. And on this view, we can see some things. We can see the ligaments, which attach on the sides. And they're hard to see, they're very thin, but your ligaments look normal. And then we also see the tendons, which are outside or more superficial. And so you have something called the common extensor tendon, this black line here that attaches over on this bone. This is called your lateral epicondyle, and the common extensor tendon attaches there. And there's a little tiny bony spur there, and this is just minimally thickened. So you have just very, very mild or minimal chronic thickening of this common extensor tendon. And so that is just a very mild, but it may be related to chronic lateral epicondylitis. It may have been inflamed at one time, and now it's really not that inflamed, but just has some minimal residual changes. Or even an old injury could cause that little tiny spur and some minimal residual thickening. But again, it doesn't look actively inflamed. Now, if we go to the opposite side, it's a little bit more subtle. But this big gray muscle is a bunch of, of your muscles coming together, and they form a common tendon attachment here. This is the medial epicondyle. And right at the medial epicondyle, it should be nice and black. But look at yours. It's gray right there. So this is acute inflammation, it looks like, of the medial epicondyle. They call it medial epicondylitis. So again, this is not torn off. It just is bright there. Now looking at the same thing, this is a different sequence, but over here this common extensor tendon is nice and dark. So it's not actively inflamed. Again, maybe chronic, an old injury or low-grade inflammation that's uh, largely healed up. But over here on this side, if I zoom this up and window it properly, you see this area that's really bright, this little triangle, that is acute inflammation over the medial epicondyle. So I bet if you pushed right there, you have some tenderness or pain over the medial epicondyle. And again, they call that medial epicondylitis. By the way, this is one of your ligaments over here. You can see it coming off the humerus and coming down here and attaching on the ulna here. And that is intact. So that is it. So you have a mild tendinopathy, uh, chronic tendinopathy of the distal biceps and also the common extensor tendon. And then the main finding is this bright signal, some mild medial epicondylitis right where it attaches to the medial epicondyle. So thank you so much for coming in again. Hope you have a great day.